Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What We Want and What We Know, Mass Effect 4. So, Mass Effect 4 is confirmed in development. Now, I love the Mass Effect series. It's one of the best RPG series of all time. I love how the, all three games are connected in an interwoven story that you can affect throughout your gameplay. You can actually load up the old saves. That has to be one of the coolest features ever. Anyways, Mass Effect 4, what we know. Well, we know, confirmed, it's in development. That's for sure. We also know in an interview with Complex, the lead writer for Mass Effect 3 stated that, well, I can't get into details, but the idea is that we have agreed to tell a story that doesn't necessarily relate to any of the Shepard events at all whatsoever. So in other words, Mass Effect 4 is gonna have nothing to do with Shepard, the main character, and more than likely the events of Shepard is something that they've mentioned repeatedly. So you maybe you'll hear like something about Shepard while you play, depending on when the time frame is. We don't know what the time frame is yet, but he will not be a main character and you probably won't be meeting his crew. We also know the game is being produced on the Frostbite 3 engine. That's the same engine that Battlefield 4 has been made on. And lastly, we know Mass Effect 4 won't actually be called Mass Effect 4. The release title has not been announced yet. So it is not a sequel to Mass Effect 3. It could be a prequel, it could be right in the middle of the time frame. We don't know, it could be far in the future. The last bit of information we know, and this comes from the studio director of Bioware Montreal, who's making Mass Effect, is that the tech going into Dragon Age and some of its core systems will be used in Mass Effect 4. Now that's all good news. I think every bit of that information is good news. Get into that last part though. The core systems for the Dragon Age Inquisition game that's coming out, that's being built on the same engine, will be used in Mass Effect 4. We don't know what those systems are yet. They're both RPGs, they're both in a third person perspective. What it does mean for us is we'll probably get a Mass Effect 4 game sooner because those systems are already in place. And hopefully the quality will be higher so I mentioned Mass Effect 4 is going to be produced in the Frostbite 3 engine. That's the same engine as Battlefield 4. I'm pretty happy about this. The problem is Battlefield 4 has a lot of bugs. Hopefully they'll nail those out. It's a multiplayer game, so there's a lot of different systems there. But so is Mass Effect 4. You know they're going to have multiplayer. Mass Effect 3 had an incredibly fun, addicting multiplayer to it. That we played, I must have played four times as many hours in the multiplayer that I did the single player. It was a blast unlocking new weapons and gear and armor. It was really cool, and I can't wait, and I really hope they take the time and the effort to expand upon that gameplay. But keeping the cooperative or squad idea, it's really neat, and I hope they keep it. Now, the first bit of news I said was that Shepard's not going to be in this. This isn't a continuation of the Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 story, and I'm, I'm happy with that. They could take this in so many different directions. Uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, they built in a really deep, rich fantasy world with the encyclopedia that they added in each game you can actually read up on the technology on the background why it's even called mass effect you know what happened to the humans the first contact war and all this could be used to make another set of rich deep games with new characters i would love to see what i really want out of this game is a new story with new characters where i actually really do make a difference that makes a difference in the main plot even all the way to the end i'm looking at you mass effect 3 they could do something as a prequel to Mass Effect 1. They could show the Turian War, and it could take place during that little skirmish, the First Contact War. They could do your crew. Maybe you're not the good guy trying to save the universe. Maybe you're in the criminal organizations. And being a good guy and a bad guy, unlike in the, Mass, the original Mass Effect games, where, okay, you could do the Renegade option, but in the end, at the end of the day, you're a good guy trying to save the universe. You're just a little bit of an ass, really. If they take a criminal outlook, your character is embedded in the world, in the like the lower income world, you do bad things, they could actually be bad things. You could be a bad guy. Or you could be the kind of lovable rogue if they take the criminal aspect, which I think would be really neat. They could take it as far as a Firefly-esque story where you're recruiting your crew, just trying to make it out in the universe, and then bigger events roll in as you make this like family-esque crew that you choose who's on your ship, how you interact with them changes how they operate. Maybe you have a ship that acts as a, you know, fifth character in the group where you can upgrade it and change it, choose where you go. I think that would be really cool. If you've watched the Firefly series, you know what I'm talking about. One of the big things that I'd love to see is more variety. Mass Effect 3 had some really cool looking armors and some cool weapons, but it didn't have the variety of the past games. But in the past games, you were looting a lot of crap that you didn't want, and it just kind of cluttered your inventory. 
So I'd love to see, you know, new armor, new weapons. And if this isn't a human centric story, if this is more of a generic story, you could have a character that maybe you could make different races, you know, multiple playable races. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Being a Krogan, does that interest you? And then how would the the romantic scenarios play out if you are, you know, non-human or you're a Turian? Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys want to see in Mass Effect 4? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe to your teaching for more gaming goodness. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.